There are a lot of fish stories to be pulled out of Missouri's waters. Yarns, tall tales, legends, <laughs> maybe even a few outright lies. Oh, but the saga of Andy Belabradic III's big one certainly merits a good telling. Uh, I was shell-shocked, man. Even telling the story now, I started getting all worked up. It was like a Cinderella story for a redneck. The game of foot was snagging, straining that whole lake full of water past a tiny treble hook in the unlikely event that some fish might happen along. Oh, it's a desperate gambit, but it is the only way to hook a fish that won't come to any bait. Mm-hmm. We're talking about paddlefish. Oh, these ancient monsters have been prowling Missouri's waters for millennia. And they can get wicked big. <laughs> the Missouri Department of Conservation has been stocking them for decades, particularly in our big reservoirs. Now, the folks at the Blind Pony Hatchery work real hard to make sure there are plenty of paddlefish to go around. And on March 21, 2015, out on Table Rock Lake, it was Andy's turn. All of a sudden, there was something massive on his line. Next thing I know, it starts peeling drag. I look at my butt and say, yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely a fish. And by that time, it's done spun the boat around, and it's pulling us into everyone else's lines that's going. <laughs> the game was on. Andy's first thought was, we're going to need a bigger boat. Now he looked like Moby Dick coming to the top. Oh, it was an epic battle. On it went for 30 minutes, maybe more. The beast taking line, Andy dragging it back. A brutal physical struggle worthy of any Hemingway novel. The outcome was uncertain. Who would prevail, the man or the monster? Well, I fought with it, fought with it. I got back up, and when it comes up, they kind of roll to their back. That's when I threw down my pole, and we all lunged over the boat, and we grabbed this thing. This boat kind of goes up on its end. We're waiting for this boat to capsize. Now, these boys knew they had something special on their hands, but to prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt, they needed to get this bruiser onto a certified scale. The party soon rolled on to MDC's Shepherd of the Hills hatchery. Anytime there's a record fish, or potential record fish caught in the area, they bring it to our scale because we have one of the only ones around. They had a lot of people, and they were all excited. When we weighed the fish, sure enough, it was a new state record. The final tally, whoo, 140 pounds and nine ounces. I was there, I was watching everything happen. Everyone's really excited, and I just couldn't believe something like this was happening. A Cinderella story for a redneck. It was the new Missouri state record for a paddlefish. And it was, and is, the largest fish ever taken in the state with a pole and a line. For Bella Bradick, a wild ride had just begun. His 15 minutes of fame went on quite a while longer. The moral of that story is this. As you're pulling that tiny treble hook through that big lake of water, you just remember, the big ones are out there, bigger ones. That next Cinderella story just might have your name on it. <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> you sure are gonna need a bigger boat.